2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 14 to 15 says, I will be a father to him, and he'll be a son to me. When he does wrong, I'll discipline him in the usual ways, the pitfalls and obstacles of this mortal life, but I'll never remove my gracious love from him. Struggles and hardships will always be a part of being human. No matter who you are, wherever you are from, or whatever your job may be, you will have problems to face. Every single day is a challenge, a challenge that must always be conquered, and if you cannot handle the pressure of life, it will definitely stress you out. When we are tested and tried through the many difficulties and disappointments in life, we are unable to recognize that, for what it was. We recognize that as God's wrath or some angry punishment or penalty, but it is evidence of God's love for us and His perfect child training program, which is designed to perfect us. God wants to bring every child of His to full maturity. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 7 says, Endure hardship as discipline, God is treating you as sons. For what son is not disciplined by his father? It is time to see things differently. You did not have a bad day, you just had a bad hour. You did not fail in life, you just failed in one area of your life. There is so much more about you than the things you feel or accomplish. Every single day is a challenge, a challenge that must always be conquered. And if you cannot handle the pressure of life, it will definitely stress you out. Hardship often prepares ordinary men to extraordinary, but sometimes facing too many hardships makes a man to give up and go back to his old path. The most common mistake people make is to avoid and run from reality, as if it's going to make it all better and all their problems will magically disappear. Every single day, reality must be faced. Therefore, God, our Father says stand in faith and be courageous and strong. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 says, Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Don't go back to your old ways, toxic habits, people, and energy. When your heart is deceitful and your emotions fluctuate, then your understanding does not see the overall big picture. Always try to come back when you're doing better. Stay focused. Problems will try and steal your peace, but when you turn to the Word for guidance, agreeing with what God says, you open yourself to the solution. And by watching you on the right path of life, God, our Father says in 3 John chapter 1 verse 4, it is the greatest joy of my life to hear that my children are consistently living their lives in the ways of truth.